So I've got this song loaded into Capo's new structure song view. And this song has a mixed time signature. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play over here. I have the metronome enabled. So just listen to what's going on and kind of watch the bar beep uh, display as we go. So you'll notice that bar 10 should have started one beat sooner because bar nine only has three beats. So to fix this, I'm gonna use Capo's new record bars feature. So I'm gonna tap on the bar just before, and I'm gonna hit this button over here. And now you see this new screen come up where uh, in this area, you'll tap at the start of every bar. And here's where you kind of control the recording. Just underneath, you'll see this setting that says four beats per bar. And what this is gonna do is divide every bar that you tap into four beats, which is the right setting for this song because most of the bars are four beats per bar. So what I'm gonna do is hit start. Now I just messed that up. And that's no problem because I can hit repeat recording and start over again. Now I'm just gonna stop it here. You don't have to do the whole song at once. Uh, you can work piece by piece, uh, especially if you're just working on a section of a song to learn. Uh, you don't have to do the whole thing if you don't want to. So I'm gonna get out of here and let's listen to what we did. Well, now you can hear that bar nine has one too many beats in it. So there's two ways we can fix this. We can either tap over here or long press and hit edit beat count. I'm gonna change this to a three, hit done, and let's listen to that again. Now, if I'm not happy with the way that I tapped the beats, I can make fine adjustments to the start of the bar. And I'm gonna use this button over here, and I'm gonna use Capo's scrubbing to help me hear where the beginning beat is of that bar. That sounds like it. Hit done, let's listen again. Sounds pretty good. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can deal with just about every uh, beat related issue you might encounter in previous versions of Capo uh, before we offered these tools. So now you can work with songs that have mixed time signatures, songs that have a different time signature from what was detected, uh, or songs that you might want to interpret differently from uh, what Capo might have detected. Uh, you have a lot of flexibility here now, and the benefit of doing this work in this area is you can bring it back to the practice view and you'll see that, for instance, bar nine now reflects that there's only three beats. And when I create a region around it, select it and hit play. Now it's looping in time um, in the new grid. And similarly, it's gonna snap at those new points because you just replaced what Capo was storing previously. So hopefully that's helpful and hopefully uh, this enables you to do more than you could before. Um, you don't have to use it very often, but when you need it, it's very handy that it's there. So thanks for watching and go learn some songs.